everyone welcome back to my channel i'm annalisa from creative curious learning and living and if you are new here i am a homeschool mom to four i have a nine-year-old a seven-year-old a four-year-old and a one-year-old and here on my channel i like to share homeschool journey cleaning motivation home decor sensory bins and more so if you like that kind of content definitely stick around and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back in today's video, I have my monthly collab with Heather over at Raising Three Wildlings. This is our morning basket collab. So we are going to be sharing with you our morning baskets, what we have in our morning basket for October. I will have her channel linked down below and we also will have a playlist linked down below if other homeschool YouTube moms want to join. I am not sure if anyone's going to join, but click on that playlist. And if there is more videos in there, then you can see more ideas for the month of October. So this homeschool year, I have been doing a monthly theme to try and keep me in the groove. I am not always consistent with morning basket and that's okay morning basket is not a necessity it's just a fun way to include things that you wouldn't typically include in your main curriculums but i have really been enjoying morning basket this year and this month's theme is a fall theme for october you could definitely do a fall theme in september as well or in november and if I'm honest with you, this month, we have not got to our morning basket that much. We have been sick. We've had this nasty stomach bug going through our house for a week or so, and it has not been fun. We are on the mend, but we were in survival mode of getting through main curriculums around the sickness and just getting in the things that we needed to get in. So let's dive into this morning basket. It's a very simple this month for fall, and I, added some things back in and let's just dive right into it so we have our little spaghetti puppy for sensory play well we're just hanging out he just hangs out in here he's our new mascot and i put the amino bible back in here we are slowly reading through this my boys are just reading through this taking turns and we are loving it i took it out last month so we could do another devotional you can check out that video if you would like the resources could be used throughout the whole year and then i have a lot of fall picture books now these typically stay on my display bookshelf my palette bookshelf in my living room dining room area but for this month and just to show you i have put them in this basket so i also hauled a lot of these in my book outlet video which i will be putting out soon so you might see these again if you keep watching my videos so this one is the little pumpkin discover an amazing story from the natural world so these are really really simple and they explain the processes of different things and they're just really cute and great readers if your kids just want to read these on their own totally good my kids have been doing that too so little acorn same thing really easy explanation of how a acorn works and then i thought this one was great for fall as well because here where i live we get a lot of rain through the fall so little raindrop same concept really easy explanation of how raindrops work how they fall all of that and then there is this one if you have watched my channel for a while you know that my kids love cats so when i saw this book i needed to add it into our fall collection we don't have a lot of fall books but i'm slowly adding to our collection so this one is the little kitten and it is so so cute then we have hello fall this one is really really cute as well then i am super excited about these ones this is the very last leaf then a very big fall so these two are very similar to each other but different as well so i wanted to go ahead and pick up both of these and read this this fall a few more fall books off to the side because my morning basket can only hold so many but i definitely want to go ahead and read these and the kids have been reading these on their own a little bit as well but we can dive into them 
for the rest of October and then into November because it's still fall in November. So I'm going to show you all of my fall books. So I have Apple Countdown. I have this Halloween one, Paw Patrol, that makes noises. The kids love this one every year. Then I have Mickey's Halloween. And then I have this super cute book. I think I got this from Dollarama a couple years back. It's got a cat as well and a soft pumpkin. And it is a little pumpkin, but it's got lift the flaps in here and lots of interaction in here. So super, super fun book. Then I love this one. I think I thrifted this one years ago. This is a pumpkin prayer. Super cute. Love bringing God into all of the seasons and just sharing that with my kiddos. Then, of course, we have a Curious George book. We have Happy Halloween, Curious George. Then I have this one. My boys used to love this when they were small, but I do have this one, so I pull it out every fall. And it is a trip to the pumpkin patch with the dinosaur train. And then I have this one, Fruit. This one could be good for all year, but I just love the apples in here. And this one is one of those see-through books. So love those. It's a fun one to pull out for fall. And then I have a Clifford book that is fall themed, Apple Picking Day. And then How Do Apples Grow? I feel like I also have a Fancy Nancy book that is fall themed as well, which I will need to find to add to our fall vibes for this month. Those are all of the fall themed things. And then I just have the basics in here. So I have our read aloud that we have slowly been working through for a while, but we are loving this. Um, this is a staple in our morning basket, the super book, the 10 commandments. We read through this maybe once a month just to remind them. And then this is one that I try and read through once a month as well. I'm using my inside voice. This is mostly for my four year old. And this is from last month. I always keep my boys sketchbooks in here and soon I will grab one of these sketchbooks for my daughter as well. We do art projects in here, but these are also in there if they just want to. Um, this is one of their art projects they did outside of Morning Basket, but if they just want to draw while we're reading or I'm reading a picture book, that's fine. So these are in here. I also have our training aliens adventures in social and emotional skills curriculum in here. We have not been working through this. We have not had time with sicknesses and everything this month, but it is in here and we will get through this this year. It is okay if you don't do all the things. Rotation in Morning Basket is great and it's something to be enjoyed as a family, not something to worry about. I also have our My Brother's Keeper which we have not got to yet, but I am keeping it in here so that I can get to it on rotation. And then I have our morning menus, which we do every once in a while. Um, these have been shared throughout. These are some positive talking cards and we rotate these throughout the month and just talk how to be thankful cards, just getting the conversation started. So these will be always in my morning basket this year and we will slowly work through these just to talk to each other and think and reflect. And this is perfect for fall because of Thanksgiving. So I'm Canadian, so we just had Canadian Thanksgiving just before this video is going up. So this is a great way to reflect on what you are thankful for. And you can definitely do that another way as well. That would be a great thing to include in a November if you are American uh, to do what are you thankful for and thankful activities. Um, then we have our math gears in here. I need to pick up multiplication and division, but we love these. We pull them out time to time. Sometimes I just leave them out for the kids to kind of refresh their math skills and all of that fun stuff. So, and then we always have one of our pointers and I just hauled two more of these in fun colors, but they are in a different spot in our homeschool area. But that is everything for my fall morning basket. Very simple picture books. And because we've been sick this month, simple is key. And it is not even necessary. If I didn't do morning basket at all, that would be okay. But I love reading picture books. It's something simple. If we don't even get to school or we get to the basics, this morning basket can carry us into the afternoon or into the evening. And we can sit down and we can just read one of these 
um, one of these picture books and get some fall vibes and some family time. And I love that. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you join me here. And don't forget to check out Heather's channel and the playlist. And I hope that some other moms join us. So I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.